In something of a surprise development, a new French-made drone, the Eric, has emerged in prototype form ahead of the Paris Air Show trade exhibition next week. The Eric Uncrewed Aircraft System, or UAS, is a new addition to the medium-altitude, long-endurance, mail, segment and is intended to fly intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, as well as strike missions. For the latter, it is planned to carry the French-made AASM Hammer, a precision-guided weapon with an extended standoff capacity and different warhead sizes. The Eric is a product of a previously little-known French defense contractor, Turgis and Gaillard, which has steadily expanded its operations in its home country, culminating in the impressive Eric prototype. Weighing in at around 5.4 tons, in maximum takeoff configuration, the drone has attracted attention on account of its size. Its 72-foot wingspan is actually only marginally larger than the US-made MQ-9A Reaper, with its wingspan of a little over 69 feet, but the fuselage is considerably more bulky in comparison. Power for the Eric comes from a 1,200 horsepower Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6 turboprop driving a conventional front-mounted propeller. In the future, Turgis and Gaillard plan to install a Safran Ardiden 3 or GE Aviation Catalyst turboprop. As well as the 5.4-ton maximum takeoff weight, published specifications of the Eric include an empty weight of around 2.5 tons, and a maximum payload of 6,000 pounds, including up to 3,300 pounds of weapons. The drone is planned to have an endurance of more than 24 hours. These parameters put the Eric in a broadly similar category to the MQ-9A Reaper, which is already in service with the French Air Force. Meanwhile, weapons for strike missions would include the AASM Hammer, which is available with a range of guidance options, inertial and GPS, laser, and infrared. Warheads can be of different sizes, too, with options to mate the AASM with 276 pound, 550 pound, 1,100 pound, and 2,200 pound bomb bodies. With the hammer, we have a range of 35 kilometers, 22 miles, so we're not too worried about the Panzer, Gaillard added, referring to the Russian-made short-range air defense system. It is tempting to wonder if the reference to Panzer might be something of a swipe at the U.S. Air Force MQ-9 that was fired on by a Russian Panzer S-1 air defense system over eastern Syria, last November. While it did not succeed in shooting the drone down, the incident does go to show the increasing range of threats faced by drones that don't necessarily have standoff capabilities. Interestingly, the company press release mentions the Eric carrying out high-intensity strikes even in contested areas, suggesting that its equipment will also include some form of self-defense suite, whether using countermeasures such as chaff and flares, a jammer, or some kind of directional infrared countermeasures DIRCM or most likely a mix of these systems. Traditionally, France has had some notable success in arms sales to nations in Africa and the Middle East. With a big demand for overland and overwater surveillance capacity in both those regions, the ERIC could attract interest. Furthermore, with an aggressive export policy, France may well seek to pitch the Eric to customers otherwise not able to buy Reapers or other US-made armed drones. In terms of competition, the Eric provided it reaches production, enters a fairly crowded marketplace. While the domestic scene might offer the best opportunities, France is already flying the broadly similar MQ-9A Reaper. France acquired six Reaper Block 1 and six Reaper Block 5 drones, before ordering a further six Block 5 vehicles. The Block 5s can be armed with GBU-12 Paveway precision-guided bombs and AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missiles. Longer term, Turgis and Gaillard may well be hoping to provide France with a homegrown successor to the Reaper, providing a drone that could also complement the forthcoming Eurodrone. The Eurodrone is a twin turboprop male drone, 
somewhat larger than the Eric, with a maximum takeoff weight of around 24,000 pounds, a payload of over 5,000 pounds, and a wingspan of a little over 98 feet. Under the European Medium Altitude Long Endurance Remotely Piloted Aircraft System male RPAS, effort, the Eurodrone is being developed by Airbus, Dassault Aviation, and Leonardo and is planned for service with France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Its first flight is expected by mid-2027 but service entry is not expected until 2030 at the earliest. As well as the Reaper, the Eric would also face competition from Turkey's Baker Bayraktar Akinci, another twin turboprop male drone. With an endurance of 25 hours, a payload of around 3,000 pounds, and a wingspan of just under 66 feet, the Akinci is in many ways a fairly close match to the Eric. The Baker drone is already in service with the Turkish Armed Forces, Pakistan, and Libya, with further orders placed by Azerbaijan and Kyrgyzstan. As far as timelines are concerned, Gaillard has said that the company aims for a first flight before the end of this year. That could lead to service entry from mid-2025, depending on securing the required authorizations from the DGA, the French Defense Procurement and Technology Agency. If Turgis and Gaillard is able to bring an already weaponized male drone to market as quickly as it says it can, it could draw the interest not only of the French armed forces but also export customers. And if the Eric also comes with a price tag that is genuinely significantly lower than rival drones, it could well do better still, with a lower cost, mass-produced armed drone, that operators would be more willing to sacrifice on a high-threat battlefield, potentially being a very attractive proposition indeed.